with Jess McCann, and Jess has wrote uh, an amazing book called You Lost Him at Hello, and uh, she's going to share with me, she was kind enough to share with me um, how to take a look at profiles, guys' profiles, to see if they are a good fit for me. I gave Jess a couple of the profiles that I'm considering, guys who have sent their profiles to me, and from different sources. Some have sent it to me directly through my website. Others, guys have contacted me through other websites like Match.com and Funny and Fish and, all, and some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. So we've got a, a nice variety, I think, here. Yeah, we do. And let me just say one good thing about all of them. They're all interested in you. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great thing. So we're off to a great start. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is good. It is. So, okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to tell you with um, going into online profiles, everybody feels the same way. It's like, you know, I can't really get a feel for this person. Some things are great. Some things not so great. One thing I'm going to tell you is you can't really get a sense for anyone until you meet them. Okay. You know, so if you're trying to figure guys out, you can't. Yeah. So really all you're looking for is just really bad deal breakers mm -hmm. in a profile. Something that, you know, if you are very religious and you're very, um, you know, you have your faith and you're, you want to date in that, in that faith and someone is not religious, maybe they're agnostic, you know that that's not going to be a match and you'll move on. But things like, you know, he likes skiing and you've never been on the slope. Okay. I mean, you know, those kinds of things, you're not going to be a perfect fit for anyone. Everyone's got lots of things. So we're just looking for deal breakers. Yeah. All right, well, let's get started and look at some, excuse me, some of these profiles. Okay. Let's start with, um, let's start with this guy. Okay. okay. Uh, I noticed, Sammy, you came from Plenty of Fish. Uh -huh. And you know what? He has written one paragraph, mm -hmm. so we can't really tell anything about right. him, you know, I, he looks like a nice man, mm -hmm. he looks like he's well groomed, he's got a nice suit on, but he doesn't have any information, yeah. so we really can't judge either way, so, you know, in this instance, I would say you probably need to get on the phone with him, Okay. always get on the phone yeah. before you go on the date, you probably already figured that out, but this guy, we really wouldn't be able to tell either way okay. if he's going to be a good match or not, there's just not enough information. Okay, and do you think, obviously that's indicative of the plenty of fish, like there are certain websites that allow you to tell more about right. yourself than others. So maybe, um, like instead of avoiding, because I think plenty of fish has a, a huge pool, but maybe my follow up email if they contact me can sort of ask a couple questions so I can get to know them better. Mm -hmm. you know, is, that, is that, or should I just sort of rule out this website because it doesn't offer a lot about Yeah, I am not too keen on this website okay. for that reason. Okay. But I, you know, I know that it's a free website. If right. I'm correct, so I know the the draw. Yeah. So in this instance, you know, you might want to check it. It might not be your primary okay. um, place to pull from. But I think that you should get on, you know, the form of emails and get on the phone as quick as possible. Okay. But I, you know, I do prefer other sites over plenty of. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at someone else. Okay. He's cute. He is cute. Very cute. Yeah. yeah. Go Nina. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, and, and looking through his profile, um, he's he seems like a nice guy, he seems mm -hmm. very active, he's active um, in sports, he's active in his faith, uh, but he's not geographically desirable because he's in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. So, in this instance, you know, you can get really caught up with emails and phone calls, but it's so important, I tell everyone, to really meet the person in, in person mm -hmm. first, because you can wait six months, and this has happened to a lot of my clients, they're on the phone with this person for six months, they develop feelings, and then they meet the person, and there's no chemistry. Okay. So, I would say with this person, you know, tell him, you know, you're really flattered, and if he's in Washington, D.C., you know, at some point, you'd like to meet him, uh -huh. but, you know, Match.com and, and all these kind of internet dates, you want to you wanna really keep them to about an hour. You don't want to be okay. flying to Milwaukee to spend three days with someone you don't know, and you don't want him doing that either. So you think a general rule is don't go out of your geographic area? Well, I, long distance. I would say it's okay if he, to meet him if he's going to be in your area. Okay. And if he wants to make a trip, knowing that you're not going to spend, you know, exorbitant amounts of time with him. Right. If he knows you're just going to grab coffee, right. then great, you can meet him. Okay. But I, what I am saying is that you don't want to develop uh, feelings for someone that you've never met. Mm -hmm. That can be dangerous. Yeah. You don't really know who you're dealing right. with. You really should meet them first. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to somebody else. Uh, okay, so we have Mike Clow. Okay. Well, you know, again, not a lot of information. Right. Um, you know, I, I was speaking again about deal breakers, what we said before. Mm -hmm. um, 
this person doesn't have his, did not go on to college. Mm -hmm. and, and for me personally, that that's not an issue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, then if that's not an issue, then then fine. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that concerned me in this picture was that it sort of looked like a fraternity picture. Yeah, it kind of does. It kind of, and he's a 45-year-old man. Yeah. Well, I was <laughs> kind of hoping that those were his two sons. Like, I, I like, I thought, like, if those are his kids, uh -huh. then that's a fun dad. Yes. But I don't really know that from the profile. I'm certainly right. making guesses, obviously. And good point. This is, again, the good point about not prejudging it based on the internet. Because uh -huh. I look at it and I go, ooh, this guy's a paternity uh -huh. guy. You look at it and go, oh, he's a family man. His uh -huh. sons are there. See, so it's it's very important to keep your mind open. Right. So, you know, again, if, if there's no deal breakers here, you know, not a lot of information, right. so maybe getting on the phone and asking some more questions, okay. but not ruling him out either. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a lot of great advice because, you know, already I see the idea of um, really be picky about which dating websites that I mm -hmm. probably spend most of my time on. And if I do go to some of the other ones don't, that don't allow more information, be quick to move it to the next level right. by asking them that information that I, that crucial right. information that I think that's missing. Right. So that's really helpful right there. And I do just have one other question about the follow-up question with what you were saying. In terms of phone calls, you know, let's say it's like the Plenty of Fish guy mm -hmm. where there's just a paragraph. Um, how quickly do I say, here's my number, call me? Like, do you think that there's a, uh, a guide that people can use? Like, I, I, I'm, I want to get to it right away. And so, but I think, well, if he's emailed me once, do I right away? And I kind of like, him a little bit, do I right away say, here's my number, give me a call? Or what's your take on that? Yeah, it's it's a fine line because you don't want to cut to the close too soon. Right. Uh, because you don't know where his head's at. And if he's on an internet dating site, that means he's dating people too. Right. So, you know, you kind of have to feel it out and you have to take every instance um, separately. Mm -hmm. You know, you, there, I don't really think there can be a rule of thumb, okay. one email, and then jump to the right. phone. Because okay. I think you might scare some people right. off that way. That's what I was worried about. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so unfortunately, it's just going to be after a, a reading situation where you might go have a little banter back and forth with quick, short emails mm -hmm. and move to the phone. You might have two long emails back and forth and move to the phone. It just really depends. I wouldn't use a rule of thumb, though. Okay. Yeah. All right, so try to get more information if the profile doesn't allow for it. And then try to not be too judgmental when it comes to pro be more forgiving when it comes right. to the profiles, yes. and then uh, move to the phone so that you can really get a feel for who they are, right? And and um, get past whatever issues they may have with writing something down. Right, right. right. I okay. think you get a lot from the phone. A lot of people say, "Oh, this guy looks great." They move to the phone and they go, "Oh, he can't even hold a conversation right. for two minutes." Okay. Or a lot of people say, "Oh, this profile is not so good." They get on the phone and they talk for an hour. Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to me to really judge on, you know, a piece of paper mm -hmm. and a picture. So just don't. Try okay. not to. Just look for those deal breakers. Okay. You know, if you see something that really sounds an alarm, then maybe don't go out with them. But you know, the more like I said, it's a numbers game. The more people you date, the more chances you have to find the one you're looking for. Okay, great. Yeah. Well thanks so much Jess. And again Jess's book is You Lost Him at Hello. And uh, I'll have a link, obviously, um, on my website so people can check out. Oh, great. Thank you. Thanks. It was good meeting you. You too. Good luck on your search. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. I need it.